What's up, guys? We're back with another podcast. Say what's up, Blake. What's up? Special guest again, and Alec. What's up? All right. Um, and we're gonna be starting it off with the NFL. Now, Joe Burrow was pretty underrated last season. I would say, like, he had an he had a great season. Um, he- and I think. And some other people think that he could potentially win MVP within the next couple of years, like three, like next three years within that. Um, now, uh, that's not a very popular take, I wouldn't say, but I do think that might happen. Now, he's still young. Like that, He made the Super Bowl in his second season. He's going to be in his third year. Yeah, so he's coming into his third year. And he's young. He can still develop. And he has an amazing wide receiver in Jamar Chase. He has good depth at the wide receiver position and with uh, T. Higgins and those guys. And he also has a pretty good running back in Joe Mixon. Um, I think the Bengals could go pretty far in the playoffs. I don't think I don't I don't know if they're gonna go make it to the Super Bowl again though. Um, I think that was just, whoa, way out of this world that they made the Super Bowl last season. Um, but I think Joe Burrow could potentially win MVP and within this, within the next, um, three years. Blake, do you want to talk about the next one? Um, yeah. So we're going to go to the NBA and I have one comment for Joe Burrow. Um, I have the Bengals where the... Um, uh, most uh, surprising team last year. They they went from uh, the fifth pick to uh, the thirty first pick. They were one of the best teams in the NFL last year, second best team in the NFL. And uh, now let's go to the NBA. So the NBA, uh, um, uh, all NBA teams came out yesterday. I mean uh, this morning. And the first team was Luka Doncic, Abel's boy Devin Booker, Jason Tatum, Alex Boy, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Nikola Jokic. Abel, do you agree with that? I absolutely agree with that, except for the center position. Listen, I know Nikola Jokic had an amazing season, but I think Joel Embiid had an even better season. Um, and so I think that he should have been on the first team instead of Nikola Jokic. But other than that, that was a pretty good take. And then for the second team, we got my boy, John Moran, Stephen Curry, DeMar DeRozan, Kevin Durant, and Joel Embiid. Do you agree with that, Abel? Like I said, Joel Embiid should have been on the first team. Nikola Jokic should have been on the second team. Um, The Kevin Durant, I agree with. John Morant, I agree with. Steph Curry, I agree with. But um, other than the Joel Embiid, I think that was pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, for the third team, we got Chris Paul, Trey Young, Alec hates this kid, but LeBron James, Pascal Siakam, and my boy, Carl Anthony Towns. Alec, how do you feel about, I mean, Abel, how do you feel about that? Uh, Kat should have been at the bottom of the league. No, I'm just, I'm just playing. Um, I think he deserved a third team. I think that was, that was pretty accurate. Um, Pascal Siakam probably shouldn't have made the third team. To be honest, um, I know he did have a good season, but uh, I don't think he should have made the third team. Um, but LeBron James, it's agreeable. Trey Young, agreeable. But yeah, um, let's shift it back over to the NFL side of things. Um, so my second hot take for the NFL is Rams maybe going back to back for Super Bowls. Um, last season, they surprised people. Cooper Cup took a leap, leap in his game. Like, I feel like Cooper Cup had the best uh, um, season by a wide receiver in NFL history last year. Yes, he had over 2,000 accumulative yards. Um, and that's rare for a wide receiver. Even for a running back, that's rare. And I think um, if Cooper... T- Cup even takes the smallest step in his game. I think he could potentially be the best wide receiver in the NFL by the end of next season. 
Um, now, obviously, Matthew Stafford took a jump from his last season with the Lions to last season with the Rams. Um, I think Matthew Stafford is going to have another pretty good season. Cam Akers, Sony Michelle, that's going to be a deadly duo at running back. As always, Jalen Ramsey is going to shut down uh, all the wide receivers that he goes up against, basically, unless he gets injured. Um, their front seven is going to be all right. Um, it's not going to be anything super special like I talked about in last episode with the Vikings. But um, their cornerbacks are going to be shut down. And their safeties, <laughs> um, but yeah, Blake, you want to take it? Yeah, and Abel, I don't know if you've heard about this yet, but the Rams recently signed Bobby Wagner. Yes, I did hear about that. I forgot to mention him, but um, that's going to be another big piece. Uh, middle linebacker position, they kind of needed somebody, so um, that move is going to take another push in the Rams. And yeah, the Rams uh, are going to have some tough opponents in the AFC. Bills are going to be really good. Chiefs will hopefully be better. Chargers might be one of the best teams in the AFC. And then the Dolphins and Raiders are going to be pretty good. Um, yeah, I would say the Bills will probably be their biggest rival in the, for the for a Super Bowl. Bills versus Rams is what I'm going to have in the Super Bowl. It'll be a close game. And Tom Brady is going to be motivated because I think this is his last year in the NFL. He's going to be motivated to get his safe win. I think uh, Tom Brady has won uh, this season, this coming upcoming season, and maybe one other season, and then I think he's going to retire um, and not come out of retirement like he did last time. Should we let Alex state his opinion about who he thinks is going to win the Super Bowl? Yeah. He's Packers. Yeah, Alec, just don't be biased. Um, the, the, I don't know. He said the Rams. Yeah, I think, he, yeah, he said the Rams. Which is probably what most people think. Most people are probably thinking, like, Bills, Rams, um, Packers, those teams. Maybe the Vikings. Maybe they um, finally tire and Rodgers with Super Bowl rings. But for their franchise's history. But, um, yeah. Blake, you want to go back to the NBA side of things? So the all-NBA teams affected a lot of money and who's going to get paid. Carl Anthony Towns and Devin Booker can now get a Supermax deal for four years, $211 million. Abel, just tell them how much money that is. So like if oh sorry if you're doing that you're like big dog top of the league like you're you're really good you're a pretty darn good NBA player. Um, Carl Anthony Towns barely is barely gonna get that max deal. Devin Booker I think he's earned that he's proved his place in the NBA he's proved that he is a top shooting guard slash point guard. Um, he's proved that. Carl Anthony Towns, he's still young. I think he still has time to prove himself even more. But, um, I think he's going to take a big step in his game this upcoming season. And I think he'll get that. I think he'll, uh, once his contract runs out, I think he'll get a, another high contract. And, yeah. Um, one last thing in that contract um, discussion. Carl Anthony Towns was not that good in the playoffs. He was better than D'Angelo Russell, but not as good as he usually is in the regular season. Um, he, he needs to be better in the playoffs if the Timberwolves want to take a step up in their game, and he needs... Um, uh, to improve on his defense a little more. Abel, you want to go back to the NFL? Um, I actually don't have any more hot takes on the top of my mind right now, so we'll leave this episode right where it is. Alec, do you want to say anything? He said that Bill's going to win the Super Bowl now. 
All right, that's the no. only thing he's gonna say. No. Oh, he changed his opinion. All right, let's hear it. He said the Packers will win the Super Bowl. No, he said the Packers or Rams will win the Super Bowl. Peace out. See you in another episode. Right. Bye, guys.